<laughs> Hello, intimate alien. Wow, you look very Hollywood today. Wait a minute. Right before we started our makeup today, there was a thought in Rachel's mind about someone making a documentary about me. So maybe that is where this comes in. Maybe, so you know, what I look like is always a representation of some energy. So you already picked up on it. Nice. Well, wow. <laughs> okay, pat myself on the back for that. Yes, one. yes. So we actually have a question that we didn't get to last week. And um, Judith says, do we have more than one spirit guide? And I'd love if you just talk about spirit guides and the spirit world and everything. Yes. This is a interesting topic. Imagine if you were to think about your life as they're asking yourself, will there be a teacher there on earth? Will there be someone on earth there to show me what to do? Right? Before you come into this physical world, will, will there be someone there to help me? Right? You would never wonder that being here. There are many people, there are infinite people here to help you, right? You are in school, there are teachers there, many teachers, there are friends, there are parents, there are neighbors, there are, right, there are so many people here to help you. Well, you have the same on the other side, as you would say, in the spirit world, there are infinite beings there at your service all the time you have different teachers in different grades you have many different teachers throughout your life depending on where you are and what you are doing and what you are interested in so to make that question into one word yes you have more than one spirit guide you have as many as you want as many as would be helpful to you and they do change, right? You would not want your same kindergarten teacher for the rest of your life, but they are perfectly suited to help you at that time. So if you think about it more as in the resources you have here are available to you in that spirit way, because you are mostly spirit yourselves, it would make sense, right? Yeah, and I love that you said that we're mostly spirit ourselves. We we tend to forget that. Yes. And that we have access to, to everything. So how would you suggest then that we make more use of that? By focusing more on your whole self, right? Focus more on your whole self, your big vibrational beingness what you would call your vortex your inner being your higher self your soul whatever word you would put to it include that in your day include that in your meditation include that in your desires a desire to be more of you here to experience more of you here is a wonderful desire. It will automatically hook you up with the support that you have there. That awesome. I, I like that. And that we, it's good because some, some would, would teach that we should keep that separate. But I believe as you do that, the more we bring in, the better it will be here, the better our experience. You are not separate. Yes, you know this. You feel this more than most. How yeah. could you make it separate? You, there is nothing separate about it. Right, right. Your vibrational beingness is what created this manifestation you call yourself. Right. <laughs> yes, and we all need to remember that. <laughs> yes. If you can manifest you into this world, you can manifest anything into this world. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you, Intimate Alien. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so... You actually stopped by and asked me to pick a card from my life card deck. Okay, so this is actually saying that, you know, we're, we're not static. We think of ourselves as just this body, but we're not that. We're so much more. 
and we don't have to be contained and pretend that um, we have only these qualities. We can bring in whatever qualities we want and let go of whatever ones we don't want. We can cycle the energy. We can bring in anything we want. And we can't do that, right, if we're pretending that we're just this little body. Right. Well, at least it would be a lot harder, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, is there anything else you'd like to ask to add to that? Well, why don't you talk about that more? How does you how do you experience that as a human? Uh, well, for a long time, many years, I thought there was a right way. I was always trying to be right to what would be the right way to do this? What would be the best way to do this? What would be something else, right? Outside of me, like, and then I finally, well, what do I want? What, what, how would I like this to be? How would I like to do this? And that's a way better way to do it because then I can bring in stuff. If I keep it outside of me, I can't do anything with it. If it's, if it's, within me and I am that big, then I can bring in anything I want and let go of anything I want and create anything I want. There we go. <laughs> and yes. I can have as many spirit guides as I want. <laughs> yes. Your power lies in your own preferences. Right. Yes. Yeah. And we would say that is the right thing to do. The right thing to do is always what pleases you the most. Okay, I've never heard anyone say it like that. Your power lies in your preferences. The power is in your preferences. Yes. Wow. That's like a big thank you. Okay. <laughs> Think about it like this. Think about each person on your world as a, their own god. You are all gods here. Gods have power unto themselves, right? Gods can do anything. Well, what if there was a god walking around saying, oh, I don't know, what do you think? How do you want to do it? I'm not sure if I can pull this off. I think what you want is a little bit better. You would look at that god and say, you're a god. What? Do it however you want it to do. You can do anything. Whatever you want is yours to accomplish. Yes. That makes it seem funny. <laughs> yes, of course it's funny, yes. And we do not laugh at you for not knowing that. We are just here to remind you that you are that capable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, then, and, and then if you are that and that capable, why would you not try different things and, and do different things? and? Yes, ex explore yourself. See what pleases you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, everyone. Explore. Have fun. Figure out what you want. And be. Be that creator. Be that powerful. Thank you, Intimate Alien. As always, yes. you are so amazing. And I would like to remind everybody to please like, share, and comment, and ask questions. Intimate Alien is a wealth of knowledge. And yeah. Just ask the questions. You'll learn. <laughs> we do love it too, yes. And we love you. Thank you for watching. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye now. Bye.